Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Let's use the today function, which I covered in my one minute videos. Let's use it in an accounting exercise. So the today function is equals T-O-D-A-Y, tab, press enter, no arguments. Today is August 20th, by the way. Down below, I've got some data, invoice number, invoice date. I'm making this up. Our terms are net 30, so I need to add 30 days to each one of those invoice dates. I'm just going to highlight the range first and do equals the first invoice date plus 30, control enter. That is 30 days from each one of those dates. So here's where the today function comes in. I'm over in column F. The today function is sitting in cell B4. That was equals today, open and close. Tomorrow it'll say the 21st. The next day will say the 22nd. I want to know how many days old the invoices are. I'm going to use absolute reference. So equals B4. I'm going to press the F4 function key. You can type the dollar signs in manually if you want. Minus B7, control enter. 35 days old is this first invoice. Crosshairs, double click. That's how many days the age of the invoice is right there. So since our terms are net 30, I want to know how many days overdue the invoices are. Equals F7 minus 30. Five days for the first one. I do want to point out the third one down. We're going to get negative days. And another one we get negative because they're not even 30 days yet. Our terms are net 30. So just a quick tip. If you highlight these in the status bar in the bottom, and I've done a video on the status bar, average is showing 15. That number is correct for what I selected. But it's not correct if you say, what's the average number of days overdue? Because I got those negatives in there. So if you want to technically get this correct, a couple different ways. I'm going to do the average if function, which I've covered before. Highlight your range. There are three arguments to average if. Two are required. I'm only going to use two. Comma. What's my criteria? I'm looking for greater than or equal to one. That is it. 30 days, let's test that real quick. I'm gonna highlight these. There's my 15 in the status bar. I'm gonna highlight these. There's my 15 in the status bar. I'm gonna hold down the control key and select the two negative numbers. Now look down in the status bar and it says average 30. So there you go. Feel free to subscribe. We use the today function in this exercise to calculate um, an accounting exercise. I did accounts receivable. It could have been accounts payable. Anytime you need the day to automatically change when you open a file, use the today function and it'll update. So tomorrow would say the 21st. Thank you.